metabolism in cancer is actually an interesting story in that some of the earliest uh, approaches we used to try to fight cancer starting 30 to 40 years ago tried to target the metabolic pathways and some of our earliest drugs like methotrexate to target cancer uh, uh, interfered with folate metabolism and that was really our major way of fighting cancer and increasingly so with the advent of molecular biology and genetics uh, metabolism and the idea of targeting the aberrant metabolism and tumor kind of became passe sort like pharmacology did and we got into the genetic age and people began to forget about it until we began to realize that many of the oncogenic pathways and many of the deregulated signal transduction pathways that we've been studying actually end up converging on pathways of metabolism. So increasingly so, there's been an increased interest in all of cancer and certainly in neuro-oncology to, to not only begin to re-understand the aberrant metabolism in tumors to better understand tumor biology, but also realize that there may be great opportunities for novel therapeutic targeting. This particularly came to light with the discovery five, six, seven years ago of the IDH mutation found in a large percentage of low-grade gliomas for the IDH uh, mutation is in a gene uh, IDH, which is central in the, uh, the tricarboxylic acid pathway and is a basic metabolic enzyme. And that, again, brought to light how intrinsically important metabolism is in tumor biology, glioma biology, and the potential therapeutic options thereof.